great to speak to David Bear again. And David is the Chief Executive Officer at Liquid C2, joining us from London. Um, and uh, we're going to be talking about the upcoming cloud conference that's taking place on the 8th of June. And there's certainly one conference you don't want to miss. Uh, David, firstly, how are you doing since I've last spoken to you? I'm sure it's been pretty frantic because whoever you talk to about cloud infrastructure, it's just... That's what everyone's talking about in the tech world. That's the big boom. That, of course, and chat GPT. <laughs> well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we've all learned a lot about chat, chat GPT and uh, AI has really uh, come uh, forth in the last in the last couple of months. Um, it, yeah, it is absolutely busy. It's hectic. We, we obviously growing well. I think we've seen a lot more entrance into the market. We've seen more hyperscalers and further investments into Africa. And also, Aki, don't forget uh, cybersecurity sitting on top of all that cloud infrastructure. Oh, absolutely. Uh, it's one thing to move to the cloud. But you're expanding your your uh, your threat uh, surface, and uh, that's also keeping us pretty busy. Well, but, yeah, great no, to be with you. Thank you. Yeah, no doubt, David. I mean, cybersecurity is top of mind. Um, it's on the priority list of every executive, every organization, and it, it just seems to be getting worse and worse and worse. But let's talk about Liquid C2 and why you've decided to be the sponsor of this event, um, and we're going to be talking about cloud and security at this conference. And you've just touched on both and how important they are. Why, why Liquid C2 at this event? Great question. Uh, you know, I think we are becoming a significant player across the African uh, market in cloud and in cybersecurity. This is a premier event for us, one of the most important for the year. Uh, big supporters of my broadband, of course, and also uh, of the whole overall ecosystem of cloud and cybersecurity in, in Africa. And this really gives us an opportunity to showcase what we're doing to help our customers today. Uh, it shows how we've grown, what we've done in the last 12 months, um, and really is a great opportunity to uh, you know, meet people and to hear from others in the industry what's happening, what's uh, affecting them, uh, and how our customers are being impacted. And it's just a great opportunity to be there, uh, meet people, and overall uh, improve our positioning in the market and ultimately keeping our customers as safe as possible. No, absolutely. And and it's always interesting when you meet people face to face. And I know this is, uh, we're doing this virtually, but you will be here face to face for this event. And it's, it's just great to catch up with customers, potential customers and understand what the challenges are that everybody faces. Uh, is, is, and I imagine that cybersecurity is a massive threat across the continent. I mean, we hear stuff globally. And yes, there are massive data uh, center expansion plans in on the continent. Uh, but I imagine that cybersecurity is is massive on your agenda. It is absolutely, and I will be there physically uh, for that whole week in, in Johannesburg. It's a big cybersecurity week for us and for the industry, and I will certainly be there. Um, and yes, it is uh, you know a, a problem that's increasing all the time. It's on everyone's horizon, and, and I, th I think the joke still goes that there's only two types of uh, businesses: those that have been hacked, and those don't don't know yet yes. that they've been hacked. Yeah, and you know, we continue to see that gap between uh, when someone uh, first gets uh, hacked or, or bad actors come into your ecosystem to the time of discovery. And, you know, that is a, it can be many months sometimes, and a lot of damage can be done in that, in that period. So again, uh, you know, it's only getting worse, uh, but equally so the tools are getting better and better. Uh, it's always a cat and mouse game. And, uh, you know, with uh, some of the partners that we have that we're bringing into the market now, really gives us an opportunity to try to get ahead of it, but it's always a moving target uh, and always important to continue to uh, evolve yes. uh, and to learn and to build that sort of situational awareness, not just for uh, your, your own team and your own staff and your enterprise, but even across the whole supply chain. Well, David, I'm looking really forward to your presentation uh, at, the, at the conference. Uh, what are you going to be unpacking? What kind of topics are you going to be presenting on at the conference? Well, we're going to talk more about our Liquid C2 Secure Fabric, and that's really an ecosystem of some of the world's best uh, vendors in the cybersecurity space, bringing them together, and how we glue it in a way that helps address the specific needs of our customers in Africa. Um, we have been, just to give you an update there, Aki, we've been building out our cybersecurity fusion centers across Africa since we last spoke. We launched uh, South Africa last year. We've now launched Kenya. We've launched Zambia. We're going to be launching Zimbabwe in the next couple of months, as well as Egypt and Nigeria. 
So we are continuing to expand that. And I think that's all part of our liquid C2 secure fabric ecosystem because we are getting exposed to a far wider range of signals across the African continent from multiple customers. We can see what's happening elsewhere and we can really start to uh, piece together where the attacks are coming from. Mm. Obviously, the wider your view uh, of what you see uh, in the world, it gives you ability to address those uh, attacks before they happen with your with, with our customers. So it's all around our secure fabric. We think it's a unique offering. We think the way we bring it together, the way we deploy it, the way we work with our customers on their specific needs uh, is a, a differentiator for us in, in South Africa and across uh, the rest of Africa too. So is there, is, is there a specific reason you've decided to choose uh, this topic in particular for the conference? Uh, well, it's just a wide range of, uh, it brings together a wide range of different uh, mechanisms that we can use to protect our customers. And, you know, what, what I will also talk about is just how there are so many simple things that can be done today to make a significant impact into reducing your cybersecurity risk. And I think that's still something people miss. You know, we talk about things like multi-factor authentication, making sure you've got antivirus uh, software up to date, making sure you're keeping your wind, you know, your operating systems up to date. Um, there, there's so many basic things that fit inside the secure fabric that we mustn't underestimate uh, the the impact of doing relatively simple things. Yes. And that's part of what I'll be talking about as well. So there's practical advice for people because I think there is still uh, sort of a stigma uh, to being attacked or being hacked. And they really shouldn't be. This is happening to people all the time. And you know, people get a bit nervous about how do they start, how do they increase, improve their uh, security posture early on. You don't have to go to big systems necessarily. You don't have to spend a lot of money. There are some real basic ways that we can improve uh, your security stance. And you know, a number of the vendors that we work with, we work with world-class ones, including Microsoft, including Fortinet, including Cloudflare. And they have great tools that are available uh, to people to improve uh, their secure scores. And this is something that we really want to work on and make people more aware of it. Yeah. Um, and so that's, a, that's also going to be a key part of the talk. Now, David, um, I just want to unpack the, the fusion centers because they're so exciting. Um, you did talk to me about it last time. You're going to be touching on it at the conference. But it's really exciting to see that happening at Liquid C2. And it's a very, very unique offering uh, especially when you look at cybersecurity and how, how quickly it moves, you know, and that these fusion centers are, you know, in, in real time analyzing what's happening, what kind of threats, what kind of attacks are happening. And, and I guess you're also expanding on the skills uh, across the continent as well. What makes these facilities so special from your point of view? Well, that's a good question. Thanks for the opportunity to talk about that. We do think it is indeed a very unique offering and it's multi-layered. Um, on the one hand, we're bringing the few, we're fusing together the uh, cloud operations with network operations with security operations. Because by coming to Liquid C2, you have a single entity that can really help you across your entire uh, cloud ecosystem and network in infrastructure. Because we are managing your network, we have an ability to see what's happening at the network layer. We can see what attacks are coming in. We can clean those pipes before they get to you. Because we're managing your cloud environment through our cloud operation center, we're able to see what you deployed, for example, in AWS or in Azure. So we have an idea of what your infrastructure looks like in the cloud, your virtual infrastructure in the cloud. And we're now layering on top of that security operations. How do we bring those security operations into securing the network and securing your cloud? Um, in addition to that, as I just mentioned before, we have that ability to see through these fusion centers across Africa what is happening in different parts of Africa, where the attacks are coming from, because very often we'll see it starting in one country mm -hmm. or with certain customers and it'll, it'll come across to the other one. So that's a multi-layer approach for us. Um, in terms of skills, I mean, I think many people talk about it all the time. There's an enormous shortage of skills in cybersecurity globally. Uh, Africa is absolutely no different. And because of the sort of global uh, nature of this business, it really doesn't matter where someone sits in terms of their ability to help secure your environment. So we have great talented people all over Africa. We have talented people outside of Africa. Um, we have recently made a significant acquisition in Egypt where we bought one of the leading cybersecurity businesses uh, in Egypt. And that's brought approximately 50 uh, professionals 
to our organization that are focused very much on red teaming and blue teaming. So these are people that are, for example, ethical hackers that are trying to do penetration testing, trying to break into the uh, customer's uh, environments. And you can so a blue team, and a blue team is one that is helping that customer prevent those attacks, consulting services to improve their defenses against it. So that is, I think, one significant improve, uh, change, in fact, since we last spoke with Liquid C2, is that now we have a very deep team of people across the African continent. And I must say the skills that we've seen you know, coming out of uh, Egypt are quite phenomenal. And we're really looking forward to bring that to the rest of our customer base. We've got major banks there. We've got major uh, telecom operators as well. Uh, we do application testing. So we've really brought ourselves to the next level uh, in some of these services that we can now bring to our customers, thanks to that acquisition in Egypt. Uh, and actually, of course, we're going to continue to do acquisitions and continue to grow because uh, this is the only way we're going to get the scale that we need to really tackle the challenges that we see. Oh, it's amazing. And, and Egypt is such an exciting economy. It's, it's incredible to see the growth that they've, uh, that they've grown through, they've been through, and they continue to grow uh, at this incredible pace. So, and and it's, it's great to see that you, you're covering all those big economic hubs across the continent. You touched on Egypt, Kenya, Nigeria, South Africa, etc., etc. Um, and and uh, the exciting plans for Liquid C2 for 2023, you did mention acquisitions. I don't think you will tell us too much about it, but that in itself is pretty exciting. What can you tell us about your expansion plans for 2023? Three. What what's exciting on your list this year, David? Yeah, so that's great. I mean, there's two key areas. One is expansion, and that's the geographic expansion that I was talked about. And I think you'll see us even moving into some of the uh, European space as well, and, and potentially even into North South America through some of the other acquisitions that we've done. Uh, we've done a big acquisition uh, last year uh, in Israel, a company called Telrad. Uh, they have a number of cybersecurity professionals in there as well. So that brings us that uh, component from uh, that part of the world, which is, as you know, also uh, world class. Yes. Uh, and, and so that we can bring that very much to the European and, and uh, North America markets. Um, so we've got the geographic expansion. And it's not just about uh, uh, getting customers in those markets, but it's about bringing the skills uh, from outside into our, our, our customers uh, in Africa. In, in terms of acquisitions, you know, we've, as you said, we've, we're covering the major economic hubs um, of Africa. Um, the next target that we want to start looking at is bringing in acquisitions that help us bring uh, particular IP, intellectual property, into our business so that we can use that to enhance the, uh, the, the security uh, um, ecosystem of our of our customers. So we're looking to see how we can improve and not just simply be uh, a vendor, uh, but also how we can develop our own product uh, that we can use uh, to help our customers. So we're going to continue to do some acquisitions in that space as well. Yeah, and of course, it's uh, it's evolving so quickly, the space, that you, you need to have that uh, that IP. I mean, you, you touched on some of those, uh, you know, uh, uh, security companies in Israel, for example, and they certainly are at the forefront of a lot of what's happening in the world of cybersecurity. When people are listening to us as they are right now and they want to engage with uh, Liquid C2, uh, discuss about the offerings that you've spoken about and, and obviously uh, find out more about, you know, the fusion products, the security that you have, the, the data centers, etc. How does one get in contact with uh, Liquid C2 to find out more about what we've been talking about today? Great, thanks for that. Uh, I mean, one positive thing is we now are known as liquidc2.com. Uh, uh, that is our where you're going to find us on the internet. And if you go to liquidc2.com slash Aki, A-K-I, very easy to remember, very uh, memorable name, uh, you will find more about what we do specifically to this show and to the Cloud and Cybersecurity Conference. So please visit us there uh, and you can get more information about us. Yeah. Thank you. And David, listen, I mean, the name itself is interesting because uh, the, I think it, the Liquid C2 wasn't the name the last time we spoke. Why Liquid C2? How did the C2 name come about? Yeah, you, that's a really good, that's a really interesting story, actually. You're right. It wasn't there before. We were Liquid Cloud and we were Liquid Cloud and Cybersecurity. And then people started talking about us internally and even externally as the C2 guys, right? Because ah. Cloud and Cybersecurity is C2. And if you have a closer look at our logo, and I hope you'll be putting our logo up uh, on this chat, you can actually see the C2 within the cloud. So I think we've been uh, able to use a term that was starting to be used internally and externally. And we thought, hey, you know, let us use Liquid C2 
uh, externally, and it really helps us to build our differentiation and brand. You know, we're part of the larger Cassava Technologies Group, which is a large Pan-African uh, business, and we have a number of different uh, units within that. Of course, Liquid Intelligent Technologies is a very important one with over 100,000 uh, kilometers of fiber across Africa, and now Liquid C2 emerging as a very dedicated, focused uh, cloud and cybersecurity business uh, across Africa, along with our other sister companies like Africa Data Centers that bring data centers across Africa uh, and many others that we have inside the overall Cassava group. So that's the kind of history. That's where we're at. Uh, and that's how we fit in, in the bigger picture. Wonderful. Well, I, I love the name. It's it's very catchy and it's easy to remember. It's liquidc2.com. That's where you'll get more information. David Bayer, it's always good to chat to you, Chief Executive Officer at liquidc2.com. And I look forward to seeing you in person at the Cloud and Security Conference uh, next month. Thank you very much for joining us, David. Thank you, Aki. I look forward to seeing you too.